Hello, this is Claire and welcome back to my channel, Claire the Bibliophile. Today, I will be doing a review on the book, A Thousand Splendid Sons, written by Khaled Hosni. Khalid Hosni is an Afghan-American author. He has written a total of four books so far. His first book was The Kaitrana and it was published in 2003. Ever since his first book, people have been reading his books. They all love it. It's been got a lot of popularity and they're all well loved, given good ratings. And I was really glad when I got the request for this book. The second book, that is the book I'm reviewing today, A Thousand Splendid Sons was published in 2007. He wrote two more books, one of which is And the Mountains Echoed, which came out in 2013. And there's another much more shorter illustrated book called Sea Prayer. Other than the last book, Sea Prayer, all the other books are set in Afghanistan. And this book, A Thousand Splendid Sons, is my first ever Khalid Hosseini read. And I've not gone through any of his other books. But I am interested in going through his other books right now. To give some basic info about this book, the book is fiction. It is set in Afghanistan and it tells the story of two women who, due to circum circumstances, come together to meet in life and they follow the same direction in life. We have two major characters here is firstly Mariam and the second one is Lila. Mariam was born as the legitimate daughter to a wealthy businessman called Jalil and his housekeeper Nana. And Jalil was a man who already had three wives and ten children. So him, his wives, his family, they were not very happy about letting a housekeeper and her daughter stay with them. So her mother, Nana, was made to live uh, far away in the outskirts of town. And she was raised alone by her mother. So this circumstances surrounding her birth and the way her mother was kind of bitter towards life made Mariam start living with the feeling and belief that she was unwanted, that she was a burden and that she was undeserving of love. This belief that she grew up with had lasting impact on her life and the decision she made. Our second character is Lila. She was born to a very, she was born in a very loving family. Her father was educated, he was a teacher and he was a man with the belief that education is the most important thing that Lila could acquire. He always encouraged her to study as far as she could, do the best she can. And Mariam, sorry, Lila grew up with the knowledge that she was important, that she could provide for herself or her family and help her society as a whole. So we, as we can see, these two women have entirely different ideas. They come from entirely different backgrounds and different sort of families. But when they meet and their lives become intertwined and we can see how they form a friendship and a bond of love. That's what the story is basically about. For me to be able to clearly explain how I felt reading the book, I'll have to tell you how exactly I read the book. So I got, like I've said in multiple videos so far, I got a request for this book and I agreed to do it. I decided to do it, but I had no knowledge of what this book was about. I'd heard of the author, I'd heard of the book and I knew it was a book with really good ratings, that it was really popular, people liked it, but I knew nothing else. I had not read any reviews about the book. I had not read any descriptions, any summaries. So when I started reading the book, I had no knowledge, no expectations and knew what to what I was going to be facing in the book. I knew two facts. One was the thing that the book was set in Afghanistan. And the second thing I knew was that the book was about a woman. But I was wrong there. The book is about two women, actually. So it was with this knowledge, I went into the book and the book surprised me in so many ways. And I think that's mostly because of the way I read it. I had no knowledge of what I was expecting, what to expect. So that might have been the reason there. But it was so surprising. I knew nothing. Every chapter turned in different, different ways. I couldn't predict anything. And I really like that. Sometimes I do read books with no prior knowledge of what it's about. I just pick a book in a genre I'm interested in at the time. And I read it with, without any knowledge of what it's about. And I usually end up liking those books better because no, not knowing is and being able to understand things clearly from the book firsthand is a different experience. So that is one thing the way I read about the book. 
The second thing what you should know about how I read the book is that I started reading this book last Thursday morning and I read for the whole day and I finished the book late at night the same day. So the book was very gripping like I couldn't stop. I started reading and I couldn't stop. The writing was so good. The characters, the story was all so incredible that I couldn't stop reading. I had to know what happened next. I had to know how the story ended. These three aspects are my favorite part of the book. The story, the characters and the writing. So to talk about the story we are knowing we are getting to know these two women as they face their hardships in life and along with this we are also following the war that's happening throughout the country one of the things that must be noticed in the story is that the book is set in across several decades from 1964 to 2003 so across this huge age across these many years There's a lot of things that's happening in Afghanistan politically, and in the story, we not only deal with the uh, usual life of these two women, we also have to take the war and its effects on their life. We have to take, we can see how different things affected them each and every day and across the years as a whole. So I really enjoyed this. It was really insightful for me, and to know about, to know, to get to know from a book. what the effects of war is when it's such a long time how much it can affect a society the people and children who grow up as well who knew nothing about war who are naturally born into war and for them war is all they know so all these things were really insightful i and like i said i wasn't expecting anything i didn't know it was going to be a book like this but i'm glad i read it the second thing i loved about the book is the characters Like firstly I have to talk about our major characters Maryam and Leila. Like I said they grew up in different circumstances. So Maryam was a person who bore all the difficulties and hardships in life quietly. Leila was also a strong woman who dealt with what life gave her, but she was a lot less quiet about it. And these are our major characters yeah but there were other characters la- characters I loved such as Tariq one of Mar- Lila's uh, childhood friends then there's Lila's parents Maryam's parents the all the story that led to them meeting all the things that happened after they met after their lives got together so i loved these characters they were all so multidimensional they were not basically good or bad they all had different shades to their character and i loved reading about them the third thing i liked about the book was the writing The thing about the writing is when I was reading the book I was so focused on the story and the characters that I wasn't specifically paying the writing much notice but towards the end of the book the writing at places at instances the writing got so beautifully written that I had to stop I had to reread it out loud just to absorb it in its all its beauty just to make cement it better in my mind So and after I read the book I went back I went through a few of the first parts and I saw again beautiful writing but I wasn't noticing it then and I got a bit sidetracked by the story and the characters but the writing itself is really beautiful and you want to read it again and again that's just about it Now I want to keep telling you stuff I want to keep telling you I want to break the story down for you give you a better summary but I believe that it would be best if you read the book with as little information as possible because reading a book getting to know it first hand it's an entirely different experience and you want to exp- get it in the best possible way it's a book like that I would wholeheartedly rate this book a 5 out of 5 stars I love the book and I'm pretty sh- I'm pretty sure I'll be checking out other books written by the same author pretty soon as soon as I can because i want to read more of his writing more of his stories because they're beautiful they're just incredible i love them so to talk about who i'll recommend this book to i think everybody can read it but i especially think that people in their 20s or 30s should read the book because it'll give you so much more insight on war what it's like to be a woman in a, a, in a country that's riddled with war so it's, it gives you a lot of insight a lot of information it can probably break your heart but you need to read it but the thing i like to mention here is that the book deals with themes like war uh, internal political conflict death and physical abuse so people who are sensitive readers who would find these issues triggering i'd say steer clear of the book because you might not enjoy the book as much as the others But still I enjoyed the book. I hope you guys read it and if there's anyone of you who's read the book 
or will be reading soon let me know what you feel about the book down in the comments so that's pretty much it about my review i'll be leaving two links in my description box this time one will be the link to the author's website so you can go check out his other books buy them if you want i'll also be leaving the purchase links of this book on amazon if you want to buy this book i really recommend that you read the book so that's pretty much it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this if you like this review would like to keep on hearing more from me subscribe and keep listening if you think this video could benefit others please let them know so i hope you guys have a great day bye